My name's Ben Averis. I'm a botanist. I live just outside Edinburgh, and I'm here at Kindrogan teaching a two-day course on grasslands. It's actually grasslands uh, as seen through the National Vegetation Classification, which is a sort of big classification of all vegetation types through the whole of the UK. Grasslands, one might wonder why look at grasslands, look at why look at different vegetation types in grasslands. They maybe people might think they all look the same, you know, green fields and so on. Um, well, actually, that's perhaps one one reason for looking at them, that they are all around us everywhere, and a lot of them do look the same, but there are going to be little differences that a lot of people are not aware of. The Kindrogan area here in Perthshire is a fascinating area to look at these grasslands because there's a tremendous variation around here. We've got high ground, low ground, um, variation in the soils. There's a lot of ground around here up in the hills, which has not really been... Uh, tampered with you might say not not been very heavily fertilized uh, has been grazed of course by sheep and deer and that's what largely maintains these places as grassland but uh, they, these, these places are what we would call unimproved grasslands and they have a very interesting flora which reflects the nature of the soils and these the, these things lead to some very good examples around this area so you know within a a short drive from Kindrogan, we can see the ex examples of the main kinds of divisions in which we split the grasslands on a national scale, so that from that people can uh, go elsewhere in the country and hopefully look at other grasslands and be able to sort of place them in at least broad groups and probably some rather uh, narrower subdivisions within those broad groups on the basis of what they've seen here uh, in the Kindrogan area on this two-day course. We actually spend a lot of time um, walking here and there, um, up and down, over quite quite substantial areas of ground to see how the grasslands vary and discussing them, and looking, looking close at their flora to see why this is a particular kind of grassland and what it means in terms of the soils and, um, and, and the land management and the slope aspects and so on. And looking more widely, looking across glens and things and, and considering grasslands on a larger scale. It's a landscape scale, really. And uh, the National Vegetation Classification is a very good approach for looking at vegetation at that range of scales. It, it helps us to understand landscapes. We look close and we look afar um, and we keep changing close and far and close and far again and, and, and one way or another gradually through this we, we can um, understand a larger landscape especially if we're mapping it, if we're doing surveys um, so that's what this course is all about it's introducing people to the, um, the world of grasslands of the UK by means of examples as seen in this, uh, this fascinating area around Kindrogan I'm currently studying for an MSc and I absolutely love plants. A lot of my focus so far has been on identifying species and what this course has enabled me to do is to really apply quite a lot of what I've learned in a really practical way. So it's given real depth and meaning to what I'm learning. One of the best things that I've got from the course is because I live quite a lot further south than Scotland, I've actually managed to see a lot of plants that I've never seen before, but I've read about. So, for example, I might get to a place in a key which describes a species, and I've never really been able to get a picture of what that's like. And I've had these brilliant moments on this course with things like Northern Bed Straw, where I've actually seen a plant that I've read about, and it's really brought it all alive for me. And it's really, really helped me to learn. I bought Ben Averis's book probably about 18 months ago. I have read it from cover to cover. I absolutely loved it. And when I Googled on the internet MVC courses and saw Ben's name and Scotland and Kindrogan, it was an absolute perfect match. So I have come on this course. It has absolutely met every expectation. I have thoroughly loved it. Um, it's a real privilege to go out with somebody like Ben who can look around and say this is M19 because or this is CG10 because. I've had some real amazing moments which have blown all my preconceptions out of the water where I've thought 
I would stand and look at something like acid grassland and there would be a whole field of acid grassland that would look in a particular way in a particular species and then somewhere completely separate there would be calcareous grassland with a whole different set of species in a whole different place and I stood in one place and on one side of me I have seen acid grassland one meter two meters away I've seen calcareous grassland and the only real difference has been one species so it, it's just helped me so much and I've learned so much about the reality of MVC.